Hey guys, Juicy Tender Stick with you, and today on this video, we're gonna be playing the V205B on the map <laughs> Desert Sands. And on this game, it's gonna be an amazing game. Played it live on stream as usual. All my games are played live on stream, so if you wanna watch us games, such games live, uh, you can just hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh. Yeah, activate the notification bell so you can get all the notifications and of course you can join the discord server where I also um, Post all of my videos that are coming and streams will get posted when I go live. So Yeah, in this game as you can see we're on desert sands here I can see on the enemy team they have one light one medium three TDs two heavies and uh, almost the same for us, but the thing is like, I don't know where their enemies will come from because there's only two light tanks, I mean two mobile tanks that are going to spawn outside. And on this case they have five tanks that can come to C, and I'm not really sure if they're gonna go to C or if they're gonna go to A, but most likely, like most random, random teams go to C actually with this lineup, but in this case they didn't. So I went into C, I capped, I saw no ones coming, I just pushed straight through. So the conqueror spotted, so at this point I was like, okay, they're gone outside and I, I need to go in. And why do I aim at the rails at this point? Because most of the TDs, like most likely there's gonna be a TD on the rail sniping, but in this case it's not, I don't know why. This game is a bit weird, but yeah, as you can see, no one's on the rails, I keep pushing in. Now, most people don't know about this. Like, not most people, a lot, a lot of people don't know about this, but you can actually shoot through these stuff, you know? Like, there are a lot of hills outside that the enemies will be, like, too high, so you can actually shoot them. Give them one, and then give them a second, nice snapshot. So, two shots into the T30, they can, like, 50% of his HP without him being able to shoot me. And now, as you can see, the situation. What's the situation? Five tanks, seven tanks on the outside from the enemy team, two in our spawn on the rails, one in front of me. This object was like really in a good position uh, because I, I actually wanted to push outside, but I saw the object and I stopped. And in this case, the 120 actually goes in like a retard. And as you can see, he's gonna get deleted in a second because he got shot from T30, got shot from object 268, and another tank, the Emil, which killed him. In this case, I can peek. Why? Because I know object 268 shot, I know T30 shot, I know Emil shot. So in this case, I can just peek, give the T31 to make him one shot. And I did. And then peeks the whole re. Now, if I if it was me, I would have I wouldn't have peeked on at that time because he will get a lot of shots into him just for peeking like that. He killed the T30. That's good. Yeah, but like he's gonna lose a lot of HP for it. So as you can see, he lost a lot of HP. Now I'm aiming for a standard B, trying to shoot him through these things, but like uh, it doesn't matter how accurate your, your gun is. Sometimes it just doesn't hit. The shot was actually accurate, but like he moved, kept moving forward and backwards, so it was really hard to hit him. And now we're already in a 4 versus 6 situation. And what do I do here? I keep playing here. What do I use here? Just look at me. What am I doing here? I'm just using this 120 body to cover my tank frontally from the 268. Like, because if I peek like this on the Emil without the 120 in front of me, then the 268 would be able to shoot me, to give me shots in the turret side. And that's why I'm staying like straight behind the 120, as you can see, so that the 268 wouldn't be able to shoot me in the turret. Because as you can see, like my turret is showing to him. If he goes uphill like that here, then he's gonna be definitely shooting me and penetrating me in the turret, which is a thing I don't really want because the game's already hard and uh, I need all the HP I can use to win the game. I give one to the Emil, climbing up, he's trying to kill the Hori, and he gets shot by the Hori, he falls back, try to give him two, and I give him a second, and now Hori again, he bounced the Hori again, and now as you can see, that I 7 yellow load for some reason against three tanks, I don't know why, but like that wasn't a good idea, should have just stayed in the spawn like here near the tree, and we could have supported him all the way across, we, I mean, me and Hori. But he decided to YOLO, and he's gonna die soon, and uh, yeah, as you can see now, the object 268 is actually YOLOing, he wants to kill the Hori. So what do I do here? I aim for the tracks, I know he's coming up, and I give him one. 
I track him and he doesn't have the gun depression to kill the Hori. Now, if I haven't tracked this 268, this 268 would have killed the Hori and then the Hori wouldn't have been able to kill the Emil. So there would have been an extra tank still alive at the game. But that track shot is important. Yes, he's gonna get that killed now, but still. That track shot made him shoot at the, the, the Emil to kill him. Now in this position, what do you see here? It's a 2 versus 5 now, me and an SDI. You can see three tanks on the other side, all the way on the other side, and then there is two tanks looking at me, the Panzer and the 268. What do I do on this situation? I have two TDs in front of me, I have three tanks on the other side trying to snipe me. What do I do on this position, this case? Look at what I do. I just hide myself from the Panzer by using the object 268 in front of me. Because I don't know if I want to get shot, I want to get shot by one tank. 268, definitely, because it has the lower alpha. I don't want to get shot by Panzer, or I don't want to get shot by both. So what do I do here? I use the body of the 268 to cover me from the Panzer. And now when I see the chance, I have speed boost ready. I see the chance that I can actually push because they're both turtless TDs. I use the speed boost and now what do I do? This is like a really smart play. If you ever have, if you're ever ever in a situation like this, you should just play it like this. You know, use your speed boost. As you can see, I go across both of them. Now, no, none of them can shoot me. And what do I do? I give the object one on my way, and then I cross the rails. When I cross the the rails, the enemy mediums won't be able to shoot me from the other side. So that's what I did. Because if I would have stayed at that side. I would have been dead like by now I could have been dead because the Conqueror would shoot me, T92 would shoot me, Standard B would shoot me, and the objects would shoot me, so I would have been dead. Did I do use the speed boost to go outside, get myself covered from the mediums, and at the same time circling the turtless TDs that are absolutely like useless now because they can't really catch up to me with the speed boost. Take out the 268 and now what do I do? I don't focus the Panzer. Why? Because the Panzer can't shoot me anyways. I'm already in a good position against him, so I don't really waste my time shooting him. What do I do? I pick up the Conqueror, I shoot the Conqueror and then I fall back. Conqueror puts one into me again. Uh, put one, puts one back into me, but it's okay. Now the Conqueror is not spotted anymore. What do I do? I shoot the Panzer. Of course, why do you shoot him? And the tracks. Why? Because you want to stop him. You want to stop him. Like, he's even really slow because of the terrain and because of the higher hill that he's trying to traverse to shoot me, but my tank's too fast and my terrain resistance is better, so... And I have a turret, I have a good reload to keep him tracked, so that was, like, a big advantage for me with the FB. As you can see, every time he tries to turn, I keep him tracked, 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 so that he doesn't really turn and shoot me. Now, I'm gonna just finish him, so, yeah. You saw like there is there was full HP two six eight and almost full HP Act Panzer that were both taken out by myself on my own with a smart play and without losing many HP much HP and now the situation is one versus it was one versus four, now it's one versus three after I killed the Act Panzer. But the problem here is definitely the caps, as you know, Supremacy, they have double caps, and I'm against three tanks, and it's gonna be really hard. So what do I do here? I try to go for a Conqueror, I go for a PCR, I know my turret is strong, and his turret isn't, so I go for a PCR just to make sure I can penetrate him. And I do give one to him. Now in this case, I wanted to actually kill the Conqueror, because if killing the Conqueror is gonna be really important for me, so I can kill these two guys later. But uh, as you can see, I keep looking to the Conqueror because I want to kill him. But here, mm, my aim didn't really quite. I mean, my re my reaction didn't really quite. Uh, wasn't really quite good, so couldn't really shoot him. He went back straight away. And now the standard B peaks. What do I do? I change to HE because I know HE can penetrate the stack easily. And I go for an HE shell for 88 damage. Well, he's going up still, like he's fully reloaded, so Amara couldn't shoot up much. He shoots me once in the side, he shoots me twice, and then I take him out. Now go back, go back, go back. Conqueror is not going to be able to shoot me. I load APCR again, I know he's a one shot for me. So I just 
snapshot, you know, it's an FD gun. You don't really need to aim much. And against a tank like the Tonk Hero with the APCR, it's just an easy penetration. And now I'm alone against the T92. But where is the problem? The problem is they have two caps and he's running away. For some reason, he didn't push me. I would have rather had him push me than like running away <laughs> because I would have actually killed him with two shots and even one shot maybe with HE with the max roll or something if I get lucky, you know? So he's running away. I give him one on the move and then speed boost comes in. I try to speed boost to him, but unfortunately, two caps and he's in a safe position. I can't really catch him. So they won the game. Unlucky for me. I really wanted to win that game, it was an amazing game, like really amazing from the beginning till the end. The way I outplayed uh, the whole enemy team, the two TDs, it was really amazing. And yeah, I mean, 7.2k damage, 4 kills, a defeat, unfortunate, still an ace, but I would have been much more happy if it was a win, 1v4, or was it, yeah, 1v4 it was, I think, not 1v5. I would have been real happy if it was a win, but, you know. It's just unlucky, sometimes you can't win all the games. As you can see, I had the most damage. None of my team was above 1.8k, except this guy, like 1.83. The standard B on the enemy team did a great job, 5.7k. But yeah, like, man, this game was an amazing game. I really was frustrated on stream after I lose this game, like for the whole stream, basically. <laughs> because, yeah, it was a game to win. And unfortunately, T92 ran away and he had the caps. He actually played it smart to win the game for his team. So, good job to him. And yeah, that was basically the game. One of my best games um, ever when it comes to outplaying the enemies and uh, doing moves that are unexpected and uh, really good. So yeah, 21 shots, 19 penetrations, 19 hits, 2 spots, and uh, yeah, I got 2 bounces and 6 penetrations on me. And uh, yeah, what else did we do? Let's check, T30, 1.2k, almost all full HP, 268 full HP killed, um, Amy only gave him 2 shots when he peaked uh, at the Hori. Conqueror, two sh 3 shots actually, but I think all of them were APCR, that's why they're low. And uh, Yakpanzer, 1.5k, this guy 6.600, and this guy 300. So I damaged the whole enemy team basically, but uh, couldn't really kill them all. Unlucky how much basic speed did you get, 1.7k, 1.75k. So yeah, great game, an ace mastery badge, but unlucky at the end, didn't have time to kill the T92. Otherwise, if I had like 5 more seconds, I would have killed him because I had... I would have had the gun depression to kill an FB. But yeah, yeah, that was it. Nothing we can change. Um, Maybe on the next games I'll try to win it. But yeah, it depends. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and sub. Activate the bell. And uh, yeah, as I said at the beginning, if you want to join Discord, you can join. Sometimes I talk there with people. Not a lot, to be honest with you. Sometimes I do, and uh, yeah, all my streams and videos are announced on that Discord server with a tag, so you can actually know when I'm going to stream, because sometimes YouTube is lagging, it doesn't send notifications to people, so yeah, Discord is more reliable on such things. I'll leave a link to the stream in the description of the video if you would like to watch it fully, because there were... There, it was a great stream, had a lot of good games, and uh, yeah, it was enjoyable. So yeah, guys, thank you all for watching, and uh, see you on the next one. Goodbye.